going on YouTube? Today's video, I'm going to be repairing this Jacoby Black carbon fiber shaft. I received this shaft from my friend of mine and this is what it gave me. As you can see, this is what I need to repair. You can see the white bolt plate, it's all scratched up and the carbon fiber is all scratched up. He wants the scratches removed so I told him I can send it but it's going to change the diameter of the shaft itself. But that's not going to work for him. He wants to keep it to 12.3. Uh, so what we decided to do is actually cut the carbon fiber and put a new ferrule and of course a new tip and making it a total of 29 inches long still. So this is going to be all ferrule, white ferrule. I'm going to be using a T34. And let's go ahead to the lay so that you can see what some of the stuff I'll be using. Here's some of the items I'll be using. I got a Q-Wax, a rotary tool with a cutoff wheel. This is some sandpaper, this one's 500 grit, this one's 1,800, and this is 120. I got a G10 rod, I got a 516 drill, a center drill, brand new razor blade, the ferrule is a T34, the tip itself, an acrylic backing, some calipers, some paper towel, some alcohol, and this tool is to cut off the old tip, and of course, I'll be using the Mid-American q -Lay. Let's go ahead and remove the old tip on the shaft so I can work on it on the lay. And I'll be using this tool. Just put it right on the edge of the tip itself. And with a firm press, the tip should come right off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mount this on the lay itself. And once I drill into it and bore it out, let's go check inside what uh, Jacoby has. I got the shaft mounted on the lay itself. Let's go ahead, tighten this, make sure it's tight. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut all, all this off. I noticed that the front end is already hollow. I'm going to go ahead and move the camera so you can see what's inside the Jacoby shaft. Once I remove that white bolt plate, you can see how hollow it is already to make it a low deflection shaft. So I gotta mimic the shaft itself when I put the tenon in, the tenon inside the shaft and hollow that out. So I'm gonna bore all this white stuff, that way I can get right to the carbon fiber. Cut a little bit more of the carbon fiber, make sure it's straight. Then I'll be putting on the ferrule. And then with the G10, I'm gonna bore out the G10 also so that it could be a hollow end. I'm gonna go ahead and continue cutting this carbon fiber, that way I can get a clean surface. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bore this out. I thought I needed my drill, but I don't need the drill itself, because once I get this bored out, because it already, it already has a hole for me to use the boring tool. Yeah, Jacoby also uses, I guess, the R2 foam, just like how Predator fills their carbon shafts. Now I'm going to make the, cut the G10 so I can fit it inside and also bore out the G10 so it makes it hollow. What I got here is the shaft itself and the G10 and my calipers. What I'm going to do is measure the inside on how far I need to go in, inside to hit the foam. And then I have to do the measurement to make it a total of 29 inches long. It's gonna be off camera. So all I'm doing is just measuring it, putting my calipers inside, and then getting a rough estimate of 29 inches. Now I got a, a length. This will equal 29 right on the edge. So I'm gonna cut the G10 a little bit longer. So about an inch, so that I can get some, some play. If I need to cut some more of the G10 and make it to size. So that's what I'm going to be doing now.
So all I'm gonna do is get the G10 to size so I can put it inside the shaft itself. And it's gonna be loud, it's gonna have the my shot back on. Now the um, tenon fits. Now let's go ahead, cut it off. And I find the best way to cut off G10 is actually with a cutoff wheel. Now I got the G10. You can see how it fits nicely inside the shaft itself. Have the tenant there. And I'll be cutting this to size so that it'll be flush a little bit, not flush, a little bit over. And this should make a 29 inch long shaft. So I'm gonna get the epoxy. Forgot to mention that I'm gonna be using epoxy. Also, it's a, don't always use this epoxy right here. It's a five minute epoxy. So I'm going to mix those up and glue it up. So I'm going to set the shaft on the lay and I'll get everything prepped. I always use a paper towel to put on, on top of the bed. That way just in case I drip epoxy it won't be on the bed itself. All I did was put pressure on that G10 so it doesn't slip out. And I'm just cleaning the excess epoxy with the alcohol itself. And making sure it's nothing is on the shaft itself. Now we just wait for the epoxy to dry and go ahead and continue working. The epoxy has dried, so let's go ahead double check it. Yep, it's pretty much dried. So I'm gonna bring the shaft a little bit closer and now I gotta just check the drill size to bore this. This is a 316, so I'm just gonna hollow this a little bit more. That way it's a lighter front end. Now we bored it, should be a little bit lighter. I took the weight of the G10 on the scale so you can you guys can see how much it weighed without the hole and just boring it and it's gonna be less than that. What I'm doing now, I'm just, I'm just removing the shaft out of the lay. I'm gonna double check the measurement. That way I can get exactly 29 inches long. Gotta cut a little bit off. Show you exactly where I'm at.
I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off so that when I put the, um, the ferrule, it's not gonna be too long. So I'm gonna put this back on the leg, get everything ready. Now I'm just gonna cut that excess. Now I'm gonna get the ferrule ready so I can put it in there. So now I got the ferrule, I'm gonna put it inside. Just gonna drill it out. That way I don't have to get the tenant so thin. And I'll just have that a little bit thicker and it's this one a little thin, thinner it out. For this one, this is the 3H drill bit. Not 3H, 516, sorry. This is the 516 drill. Uh, drill. And just bore that out. I'm gonna take this down. That way I don't have to cut so much of this, of the furrow. So I'm gonna take the tenon, tenon and so that this fits perfectly inside. Check my measurements. Now to cut this to size, that way it will be a perfect match. And I can put this, you gotta remember also with the ferrules they're not exactly the same length because of the barrel itself. What I'm doing now is getting the measurements of the, the ferrule itself, how, how much I need to cut. So what I did was get the total, easiest way for me to do it is get the total length of the ferrule and then put my calipers to zero. And then, this will give me this, how much, what the difference is. 1.25. So, all I know is I have to add this much when I cut it. Double check it. Zero. Zero. Get a little bit longer. So I'm gonna cut the ferrule right here. A little long, way too long. So my math is off. So I gotta cut a lot more. I actually need to cut the ferrule, the tenon a little bit shorter. 
because it's right on the 29 inch mark. I'm going to drill this a little bit more so it accepts it. It's not, it's not the same size. Double check this, make sure that's 29. I'm about to cut a little bit of the ferrule, bring it down. It's a little bit long. So I'm going to glue it and cut this much off. And we'll see. You can see there, that's exactly in the 29. And once we cut that off, then we can put the, um, the paddings and everything. I got a shaft uh, back on the lay. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean it off and get it ready for epoxy. Using again the five minute epoxy. Now to wipe off the excess. And now we just wait for the epoxy to dry. The epoxy has dried, so we're gonna go ahead and double check it. Yep, it's on there. Now I'm just gonna cut this. I'm gonna double check the length, make sure that's exactly on the 29. So we're gonna go ahead and check the length. It's a little bit over 29, which is perfect. Cut some of this off, get this straight, and then let's go ahead and put the acrylic pad in the, the tip. Here's the acrylic pad. I'm just gonna place it in there and put the tip right on top of it. And this is the glue I use. This is from Hobby Lobby. It's a thick kind. Also forgot to mention I used an accelerator too. Makes things look faster and quicker. Waiting for the alcohol to evaporate. All I'm doing is getting the acrylic down to size. Now I can get the, the ferrule. Close to the shaft diameter. Along with the tip. Try to get this as close to the ferrule. No, I don't have to work as hard. Get the ferrule close to the shaft, what I meant.
All I'm doing is cleaning the shaft because I'm gonna forgot to mention that I use tape on the shaft. So now I can sand the ferrule. I'll be back and get some wet my uh, paper towel so I can get a nice uh, wet sand on this. Now I got a wet paper towel. That way I can get this wet. And this is the 500 grit. This is just a tip shaping tool. Here's the finished product. As you can see, this is how it turned out. The T34 on the shaft itself. The shaft, I took out all the scratches and has the acrylic pad and of course the tip itself. And you can see how I, I made it all flush. Hopefully this video was informative. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me. Don't forget the thumbs up. Bye bye. What's going on YouTube? Today's video, I'm going to be repairing this Jacoby Black 